the Congo, 900,000 square miles, over 2 billion rubber plants. Under brutal colonial rule, the heart of darkness. But one man will make a stand and change Africa's fate. In Sala. Rubber tapper. Husband. Family man. Alice Harris. Activist. Reformer. A Baptist missionary from Britain. Sala doesn't know her, but has nowhere else to turn. He wants the world to know what he's carrying. Sally sound like What? What happened? Like all my batunyoso. severed hand and foot of his daughter. The previous day, his village was attacked. His wife and daughter slaughtered. I'm going to help you, okay? Let me help you. For 19 years, Belgium's King Leopold has run the Congo as his own private estate. Millions forced to tap rubber. The profits line his pockets. Since there was nobody looking over his shoulder, he uh, exploited it and exploited the people as well. <laughs> Almost anything could happen, and anything did, unfortunately. When workers don't make their quota, the shikant, a whip made from hippopotamus hide. Ten million Congolese die in 15 years of Leopold's rule, an African genocide. That one hand a bit Alice Harris will expose the brutality of Leopold's regime and shift world opinion. A photograph that will change mankind. Baringa Province, northeastern Congo. A land controlled by Belgium's King Leopold. British missionary Alice Harris will harness the power of mass communication to reveal a terrible truth. A catalog of horror. Our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, beaten and murdered for rubber. No matter how hard we work, we suffer. Every day, we suffer. It's a story repeated through the ages. Colonial forces attack native populations and plunder the planet's riches. Atrocities committed far from prying eyes. Harris wants to change that. She'll tell the world what is happening in the Congo. That children 
are routinely maimed as a warning to villagers. Her weapon, the camera. For the first time, mankind can capture images of our world, reproduce, and share them. The first cameras weighed 110 pounds. By 1900, they're smaller, portable, and in the hands of two million amateurs. The invention of photography and the means to get them in front of people held more power than its inventors ever dreamed. Photos don't blink and they don't go away. Once you've seen that image, you can't rewind. Harris takes hundreds of photos in the Congo. They're published in newspapers across the world, shocking millions of readers, including Mark Twain. If only we could bring home that picture to the minds of the American people, how they would rise to destroy that age-brutal trafficking in human flesh. Twain joins the Congo Reform Association to campaign against the atrocities. He writes pamphlets illustrated with Harris's photographs. Just one look at what had happened to these people in the Congo from these photographs she took was able to communicate so broadly and so horrifically that it transformed world opinion and it changed society. The campaign forces King Leopold to quit the Congo and the rubber trade. Mass media a new power in a modern world. Key to illuminating the planet's darkest corners. The expression, a picture's worth a thousand words, that's a lowball estimate. A picture, a, a good picture, is worth so much more than that.